So Directus lets us use hooks for actions and events and for filters. So a hook lets us hook into Directus' functionality. So we can run our own tiny piece of custom code whenever Directus does something. So whenever we create a table, when we insert an item to a table or update a table, we can run our own piece of custom code using Directus's hooks. And they're actually really simple to set up. So here's a page that explains how the hooks work. And it gives us a list of all of the different hooks that we can use. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a hook that sends us an email every time we add an item to our table. So the way we're going to do that is we go to our Directus folder and we open the file called API slash configuration.php. So we open that file, we scroll down, and we look for this section called hooks. So what we're going to do is every time we insert an item into a table, we're going to send ourselves an email. So to do that, we're going to put a comma in there and we're going to add a brand new hook. And it's going to be table.insert. And when we run that hook, it's going to run a function. that's going to take the table as a parameter and the data as a parameter. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to run PHP's mail function. So we're just going to run something like this. It's going to send an email to francis at outco.org. It's going to have a title of new item added in table, and it's going to have a body of just new item. So if I save this, so in order for this to work, we have to install sendmail. So to do that, we say apt install sendmail, and we run that, and that will install sendmail. We also have to configure sendmail. So if I type in hostname, you can see this is the hostname of this server. To be able to send emails, you have to have your hostname of the server matching the reverse DNS record for the IP address of the server. So if I was to run this command with the IP address of this server and I hit enter, you can see that the result I get back is this pointer record that points to directus.howcode and that is exactly the same as the hostname of this server. And we need that for mail servers to accept emails from us. And for places like Gmail to accept emails from us, what we have to do is we have to have that pointer record set up. So whenever I send an email, because I haven't set any of the headers, it's going to come, th it's going to come through as spam. That's why it's going to end up here. But if you just made your mail function a bit more complicated, you added some headers and things like that, your message wouldn't come through as spam. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a brand new user. So if I save that, you can see we got no errors. And you can see here, if we look at the logs inside our send mail, you can see that the email I just sent to francis at howcode.org has been accepted for delivery. You can see it says the status of the message is sent. And because I didn't provide any header information or anything like that, it's going to go into my spam folder. So I'm just going to wait and then as soon as it arrives in the spam folder, we'll be able to see it. So you can see here's the email I just received. If I click on it, you can see it came from the user www.data. That's because that's the user that Apache runs under. That's the user that PHP and Apache run under by default and we didn't specify a different user in the headers. So just ignore that. But you can see the title of the message is up here and the body is down here. And if we had to put in some headers, it wouldn't have gone into the spam folder. But now you can see that just by adding users to the database or adding any sort of item to a table, we can hook into Directus. And we can provide custom functionality. In this case, all we did was we sent ourselves an email but we could do anything we wanted and we have all these different hooks that we can look into. We can create a hook that when we delete a table, when we delete items out of a table, when we update a table, insert items into a table, we can even run code even whenever Directus is just starting up. So what we could do to make this a bit more useful is since Directus tells us the table name that the item was inserted into, what we can do is we can react to that. So what we could do is we could say a new item was added to and then just put in the table name. And there's a table called Directus underscore activity. It's an internal table. So whenever we do anything in Directus, it records it in the activity. Uh, and that's going to count as an inserted row. So what we could do is we could say if table doesn't equal Directus activity, then we're going to send an email. So now if I save this and I add a new row to the table, so I'm going to add a new post. It's going to be post number two. I'm going to save that. So there's our post. And now if I check my spam folder in a couple of minutes, hopefully we'll have an email from Directus telling us that there was a new item added to the posts table. So you can see now I have an email in my spam folder. If I open this up, you can see a new item was added to the posts table because that's the table we inserted a new item into. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. That's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.